Good morning, sir, and welcome to another day of the video diary. And how are you on this fine, fine, another really bland and cold, relatively cold day, actually. Today, while I don't have any exams, I am going into the college, even though I don't actually have to be there, just to go over a couple of things with my maths teacher before the exams tomorrow. I've got two exams tomorrow, C3, which is core three, which is like the lowest module of a of normal maths, and then FP2, which is the hardest module of further maths. Ooh, so it's gonna be an exciting day. I literally think I'm absolutely perfectly fine on C3 without cursing anything. Even though I bombed it last time I did it, I feel like I went in last time with the wrong attitude, whereas this time I'm going in with the right attitude and it will go a lot better. So that's good. Also, I'm gonna go talk to the guy who's helping us do the space mission. Um, with reference to an offer that I've been proposed by a semi-anonymous semi-anonymous um, source who would like to put a bit of money into the funds to buy an extra balloon essentially and I need to email him back to be fair but hey I'm not entirely sure how well it's gonna go for the simple reason that I I've kind of got to express like wh who it is and where it came from without directly suggesting exactly where it did come from which is a bit hard and henceforth, I'm not sure if we're going to be able to, obviously don't quote me yet because I'm going to go talk to him, but I'm not sure that we need the money or will be able to accept it if we did because obviously, yeah, essentially. Um, what am I going in? I'm going in for to cover some FP2 modules, specifically the symmetry and polar equations um, and, 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 and some reduction formula. But I've already decided in the paper that those are going to be the last two questions that I ever do. You always don't awkward you always dodge all of the show that's that you're not immediately sure how to show that if that makes sense and you dodge the reduction formula because that's always fiddly and takes a lot of time and is there anything else you dodge you just save them till last because it's very time intensive for the pure two is you've got to just scramble for every single mark you can possibly get even though i feel very confident relatively very confident about it um you're st it's still quite a scramble for marks so but it's fun, so we're gonna go and get those covered, I think. I'm really sorry about how crap these vlogs are, by the way. I genuinely am sorry. There's just nothing I can do about it. Good grief, I annoy myself sometimes. I've literally been saying recently, haven't I, that I've, I'm sick of just saving the vlog until the very end of the day and just vlogging now. And then, what do I do? I get home after doing maths, come home, hang my coat up on the wall, and then put my camera in the pocket, then just leave it and just forget it. So I'm sorry about that. I promise you that these vlogs will get better at, at times. Every now and again, there'll be a good one. Every now, every now and again, it's worth holding out for that good one every blue moon be, while revision is on. And then just after revision, literally, they'll get amazingly good. I cannot wait until just after exams and stuff. But unfortunately, you're gonna have to deal with this rubbish. I'm gonna have to deal with this rubbish until then. So today we spent doing maths revision in maths and I turned up expecting like further maths kids to be there and it just happened to be like four, four and five, four and then five later, um, normal maths kids all doing core three revision and FP2 and core three both clash tomorrow. So I'm doing both tomorrow. So I had to like every now and again, just steal the teacher away. Like, oh, by the way, how'd you do? Uh, oh yeah, 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 that makes sense, blah, blah. So um, I was doing FP2 revision, just plowing through that while she taught them and then asked like the odd question and then I got an hour to myself learning how to do um, by parts, just like nailing by parts, which was jolly good fun it was. I think I'm very confident on Further Pure now. Um, I spent a long time doing it though. You, you know, you've, if you've watched, you've seen just how much time I've spent doing for the pure because it's ridiculous. But even my maths teacher said that she was shocked at how much quicker I was and how much more accurate I was. I did half a half a paper there. I did the paper questions I couldn't do um, a couple of weeks ago, um, and then did um, a half a paper and got 100% on the first half of the paper, which is really freaking good for further pure that's like a, a 3000% um, increase I believe well okay maybe not but you know I mean I went to go and speak to the space mission guy at Le College and he says it would be useful to have the backup backup funds but he's got to try and figure out the best possible way of getting the money to us from the anonymous mysterious um, person who wants to give us money um, because the leading options at the moment is to PayPal it to me and then I take out of my bank account 
transfer it from PayPal to my bank account then pay it to them in like cash or in a cheque or something because he doesn't know whether they have a PayPal account or anything like that so I'm not sure. I'm going to figure it out, they're going to email me back and then I will contact the mysterious person who's doing this. It's a bit weird, not going to lie. Um, and then I came back from Le College and doing maths all day, came back here and did, guess what, freaking more maths, it was brilliant. Um, I ploughed through um, two C3 papers and an FP2, half an FP2 again. Um, I kind of don't know what to do, well it's too late now, but I've been trying to balance time up between FP2 and C3 because C3 I think is really easy now. Now I've done C4 and I've done FP2, it seems really easy, I'm really confident on it, but I need above 90%. If I don't get above 90% then it's essentially not good enough. I want an A star in maths and to get an A star I need over 90%. So. I've been trying to balance time so that I can do some C3 revision, or revision that's worthwhile to C3, um, while yet FP2, which I don't need as high a percentage in, is really, really bloody hard. And if you get like 50%, then you've got an A. So I've been like spending a lot of time doing Feather Pure 2 and then not so much doing C3. And while I'm still very confident about C3, I really don't hope that I've just shot myself in the foot. And lost out on the opportunity of getting an A star, but yeah, oh well, it's too late now. I still feel extortionately confident. C3 is the easiest module we're doing, closely followed by C4, then it would be probably D2, um, then it would be stats, then mechanics, then FP2, which is tomorrow. Hey. Else though, my evening has been spent um, practicing with Skype actually. Um, I've never used Skype before. I've kind of had a Skype account for when we go to university and then I'll be able to keep in contact with people that I know specifically, lovely and the like, who are moving a next relatively long distance away from me so that I can just keep in contact with them and see them more often, even though they're really far away between like obviously visiting them. But because of that, I kind of set it up and then like invited a few people, didn't know what I was doing and then just like closed it down. We'll wait till thingy. But then um, Sophie, my good friend Sophie was saying, on Twitter, I was helping her out with some maths questions on Twitter, and then she's like, "Can you just can I come on Skype, and then we'll, we'll figure it out?" And then we went on to Skype, and then even though her microphone didn't work, we modelled through the question. We still got it wrong in the end, though, which was a mistake. We, I jumped in because I was rushing. I always rush whenever I'm teaching, especially in like in a situation like that, just rushing through it. And then I did one minus one and got two because I'm a moron. So yeah, sorry about that, Sophie. But then we we was basically talking all night about like the differences between our college and then her college, how much smaller hers is to ours because ours is a massive comprehensive school, because hers is a, a nice, quiet, suburban primary school. By primary, I meant to say private. The tap is putting me off. So yeah, that was jolly good fun. I've had a jolly good experience with Skype. I like the little faces on it, it's nice and cute, and the noises it makes are cute as well. It's like, bloom, or bloom, except it's weird when you turn it off and it goes, <sighs> So yeah, that was fun. Otherwise though, I am exhausted. Further Pure 2 revision and thingy revision today has knocked, knocked me for six, so to speak. So I am now going to head off to Le Bed. Waking up bright and early for my dual morning exams at half pa uh, quarter past nine and quarter to eleven. Yay! Yeah, so thank you for watching. I will talk to you tomorrow. Hopefully tomorrow will be more interesting. It probably will be. I don't have an exam after Thursday. After tomorrow, I don't have an exam until Monday. So I'll probably take the day off in the afternoon, I should think. I haven't said that I've got work this weekend, so maybe not. I don't know. We'll find out tomorrow. Catch you later.